Hi there everybody! A few of you requested a video with my girlfriend, so I decided to do this week's Femme Talks with Brienne. And this is Brienne. Hello! We are going to be answering some questions that I thought might be a little bit more interesting than just Hi! Who are we? type questions. So um, the first one is a question I actually got from a number of people and they wanted to know how Brienne identified. I identify as the term Andro, which is short for androgynous. I, I like the term a lot because I feel like it's one of those terms that kind of gives me a little leeway in terms of how I can, like how I present physically. Yeah. Through clothing, hairstyles, um, and makeup too, like if flexible. I choose. Yeah, yeah, it's very flexible, which I really like about that. I feel like I could wear, you know, something that may seem a little more femme, and then another day something a little more more butch. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't really identify as a term butch. So not butch, but just you're not butch more at mas all. More masculine She's presenting, I guess. Feminine. I am. <laughs> so, I think one reason why I really like it too is because I felt okay to wear makeup even if it w if it was just like a little bit like concealer mm -hmm. and some blush so you love your gold eyeliner yes i love my gold eyeliner let's go on to the next question um we're looking over at um our laptop so how long have we been together that's a question that i figure we'd get asked so i thought we'd answer it um We've been together for uh, about two and a half years. I mean, technically, it's... It's going to be going on two and a half in July. Like, July... Yeah. July 10th. July 10th. Okay, we started dating January 10th, 2011. So it's a really easy date to remember. 011011. That's not how I remember it. That's how I remember it. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've been together for quite a while, and we've never broken up and gotten back together at all. No. Um, we've just gotten we've just gotten stronger with age. So yeah, I was 17. I was 17 and Brienne was 18 when we met. And now she's 21 and I'm 20. So it's been a while. I know it's been a lovely while. Yeah, it has. Um what kind of reactions do we get from straight people? Um we live in Portland, Oregon. For those of you who don't live in the US, it's a really liberal city, really good for gay people. Um, I'd say not exactly as liberal as like San Francisco, but pretty close. We don't get as much hate as we would if we lived somewhere like in the south where I grew up. There's obviously pricks everywhere and <laughs> Brand's gotten faggot yelled at her while I'm with her and um, or on my own and on her own. And some people look at us just like they're kind of confused because we look so different. You know what yeah. I mean? I think that also comes to the fact that we are interracial. Yeah. Which is unfortunate that this happens at all in this day and age. I think the best way to kind of just get through anything just, like that is just, just ignore, ignore it. Them. Ignore it. There's no point um, in like wasting any energy on yeah. anybody else who's negative. And we also, you know, for every negative person, we get a lot of smiles too. We get a lot of smiles from straight couples who, you know, think we're cute. Or straight women. Straight women. Well, straight woman. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe they're not always straight, but yeah. Which brings us to our next question: What kind of reactions do you get from other gay people? This is actually a question that I wanted to answer because I think the reactions we get from gay people are a little bit different than a lot of other lesbians. Just our experience in this is, I think, a little bit unique because we're interracial, because um, we dress differently than. Than what the local scene than is. Than what the Portland. local gay scene is. Yeah. The local gay scene is kind of that dykey, um, kind of hipster, kind of hipster dykey, you know, bandana back in, in the pocket. And it's very laid it's back. It's very laid back. And I always, I don't know, Brian and I both dress a little bit more formally than the local scene does. We actually get a lot of flack from, like, just some of the friends that she grew up with her gay friends and whatnot that I met when I got here and became friends with. Call us like posh yeah. and stuff like that. I, I think I think they're not saying it, but I feel like posh is just another word for like 
you know, snooty. Hoity toity. Snooty, yeah. hoity toity. You know, oh, they care about their appearance a lot. Yeah. I think for a lot of people that translate as being vain. Mm hmm. And I think that's bull. It is. I mean, I just like to take care of myself. I look this way because I want to look this way. I'm not judging yeah. you the way that you're dressing. You shouldn't be judging me by the way that I'm dressing. Just because we dress differently, I'm still gay and I still want to be in your circle. And why can't we just all get along? We're all going through the same stuff in the, like, the grand scheme of things. Another, another way we get perceived within the queer community, the gay community, not, not, not every lesbian, but like, but like some lesbians who definitely more masculine presenting, Butch, Andro, Stud, what have you, I've noticed that as soon as they know that Lean is gay, that she's femme because she's with me, when we're together I've noticed that if they look at her like she's a piece of meat, like oh she's a viable option, even yeah. though, even oh, she's though, not a straight girl but she looks like going, mmm tasty. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. When I see their eyes, and they're just like, mmm. So I yeah. think in my head, ooh. Yeah, and it's very disheartening because I don't, I don't think anyone should be looked at that way, especially, you know, just because. Especially because we're in a, we're a couple. Yeah, I feel, I find like, that profoundly I'm off disrespectful. Limits. Everyone deserves the same, res the same amount of respect, and they shouldn't, and no one should be looked at like they're a piece of me. So we decided to end this with kind of a fun fact or bit of trivia, if you will, about us. Brian is a full, how many? Seven inches shorter than Lena, yeah. which I'm actually kind of proud of. I like being short most of the time. <laughs> and I don't know, I think it's kind of, kind of, kind of cute to see the height difference. You can't really tell now, but I'm sitting on a cushion. <laughs> she is, she's sitting on a pillow. She's right. very proportionate though, so she's not super tiny or anything. No. She's just a little bit short. Okay, a lot shorter than me, which I find adorable. And I wouldn't change it. And have it any other way. So thank you guys for watching this. If you want to see more videos with Brienne in it, just let me know. Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to share this. Get the word out there about Femgasm. I'm still a really new channel and I could use all the support that you could give. And um, like this if you if you liked this, like it, and um, see anything else. I don't know. Have a nice day. Have a nice day, <laughs> and stay tuned for Fem Talks every Friday. It's annoying because we're looked down upon, we're seen as objects, we're trophy wives. We're just. It can be really degrading. It can be very degrading.